All of us go several times a day, but what's the carbon footprint of our daily water use and could we get more from the waste we flush away? That's exactly what this state-of-the-art water plant in Bulgaria has been set up to do. Generate as much power and products from the stuff it takes in. A few hours after somebody goes to the toilet in Bulgaria's capital Sofia, what gets flushed ends up here. The Kabratovo wastewater treatment plant is one of the most energy efficient in Europe. Stanislav is showing me around. We collect the wastewater from the Sofia citizens. We treat it here so that it's clean in the river. And in the process, we produce biogas. This biogas is then transformed into electricity and heat. The heat is used for our processes and the electricity is used to satisfy the needs of this plant. And how much energy are you producing here? We are producing 24,000 megawatt hours per year. Or this is the equivalent of feeding 2,300 homes annually. And what's different about this plant, say, to any other? The difference is the amount of biogas produced. Usually, wastewater treatment plants are producing 50 to 60 percent of their own needs. And here we cover more than 100 percent of our needs. We're also saving CO2 emissions approximately 70,000 tons per year. It takes a lot of energy to move and treat our water. On top of that, CO2 wastewater produces gases like methane. In many countries, the water industry accounts for around 5% of all the greenhouse gas emissions, a figure comparable to the aviation industry. So we've just come into Sofia as the IPCC are holding a meeting in the city and they've given us a green light for an interview. Can the water industry lead the way then to net zero? This is one of the industries where it's not impossible to get down to net zero emissions or in fact zero emissions because we have many opportunities to use water much more efficiently. We also have many opportunities to reuse those gases which are now greenhouse gases but instead use these for energy production altogether. This can uh, become net zero, especially if the energy we use for this is coming from renewable energy sources. Back at the plant, Stanislav tells me they plan to go further. We're just commissioning a new plant which will boost the biogas production by 10 to 15 percent here. And we're installing photovoltaics. But it's not only this plant. We are exchanging with our colleagues, trying to inspire the other plants to reach energy self-sufficiency, as this is something that the group is asking us to, to push forward. That's it for this episode. We'll be back soon for more Water Matters.